In 2020, dozens of people were killed as heavy rains triggered a mudslide into this impoverished settlement in Brazil. It took days to dig out the bodies. Families in the area say that unlike the case in years and generations past, the rain is now aggressive, dangerous, and terrifying. The rain is very different these days. I work with elders. They say they've never seen anything like this rain. The climate is very different. On Sunday, the UN Climate Conference in Egypt, COP27, ended after a day and a half of overtime negotiations with an agreement to establish a loss and damage fund to help the world's most vulnerable communities prepare for and recover from climate change-related disasters. With the first official meetings to even discuss where to get the money and how to disperse it, not scheduled until March 2023, though, it does little to help families already on the front lines of climate change, struggling as climate-related disasters increase in frequency and deadliness. While COP27 did not retreat on international goals to limit global warming, officials say it did little to further the achievement of those goals. We need to drastically reduce emissions now, and this is an issue this COP did not address. A fund for loss and damage is essential, but it's not an answer if the climate crisis washes a small island state off the map or turns an entire African country to desert. In Guarujá, Brazil, Locals say the problem is threefold. The climate is changing rapidly, people are destroying the environment, and they have no money to recover after a disaster. Climate change alone may not have caused the deadly mudslides, they say, if the mountains had not been stripped of trees and bushes. This is what happens when nature gets angry for what people do to it. These are the consequences. Nature is revolting, he adds, for decades of deforestation and the neglect that have already led the world to warm more than one degree Celsius, a trend he hopes international negotiators can slow down because it is already too late to reverse it. For VOA, Heather Murdoch in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, and Jan Boisha in Guarujá, Brazil.